Today we're going to be going over how to multiply fractions. It's a review for most of you. To multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators. So 1 times 3 is 3 and 3 times 4 is 12. But when you multiply um, fractions, you always have to simplify your answer. So what you need to do is to put it in an upside down staircase and put it in simplest forms. I put my numerator first, my denominator second, and I run it through the numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7. I see that 3 can go into both of them. And I know I'm done because 1 is smaller than all the magic numbers. So this simplifies to 1 fourth. And that's the correct answer. Okay, here's problem one. Get out your communicator, write this problem down, and see if you can solve it. Pause the video, do it yourself. And when you're done, advance a little bit and see if you got the right answer. Pause the video now. Did you get 7 twentieths? If you did, fast forward to problem number two. If you didn't, watch how to get that answer. So you have 2 fifths times 7 eighths. You just multiply across. 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 8 is 40. Before I'm done, I need to try and simplify my answer. The numerator goes first, the denominator goes second, and I run it through 2, 3, 5, and 7. I see both of these numbers are even, so I'm going to divide by 2. 2 goes into 14 7 times, it goes into 40 twice. I'm going to try it again. 2 can't go into it because they're not both even. 3, three is not a cannot go into 7 or 20. 5 won't work because they both don't end in a 5 or a 0. And 7 will go into 7, but it won't go into 21. So the answer to this problem is 7 twentieths. Here's problem 2. On your communicator, write down 3 fourths times 5 tenths. I need you to pause the video and see if you can solve it for yourself. Did you get 3 eighths? If you did, fast forward to problem three. But if you didn't, I need you to watch the video and see how to get that answer. 3 fourths times 5 tenths. I multiply across. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 10 is 40. But first, I'm going to see if I can simplify this answer. First, I write down the numerator, and then I write down the denominator, and I run it through 2, 3, 5, and 7, the magic numbers. They both end in a 5 or a 0, so I'm going to divide by 5. 5 goes into 15 3 times. 5 goes into 40 8 times. I try it once more. 2 does not go into both 3 and 8. 3 goes into 3, but not 8, and 5 and 7 are bigger than the magic numbers. So this problem simplifies to 3 eighths. That's the answer. Here's the last problem. See if you can simplify 5 6 times 2 fourths. Go ahead and pause the video, solve it, and then check for your answer. Did you get 5 twelfths? If you did, you're finished. If you didn't, watch how to get the answer. 5 6 times 2 fourths, and multiply across, and it's 10 20 fourths. But I have to always try and simplify my answer. First, I write the numerator, and here I write the denominator and I run it through the magic numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7. They're both even, so I'm going to divide by 2. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 2 goes into 24 12 times. I'm going to see if I can simplify it some more. 
They're not both even, so I can't use two. Three does not go into five. They both do not end in five or zero, so I can't use five. And seven is bigger than five. So this problem simplifies to five twelfths. You're finished. Good job.